I'm just reflecting then again on, on Saturday, obviously massively disappointing. How, have, uh, how do you reflect on, on that performance and um, what's been the mood in the camp over the last few days? Uh, yeah, obviously very disappointing. We're not, you can't really dress it up any other way. We lost four on to Woke and it's not, not acceptable. Um, and yeah, the mood in the camp is, we were obviously very disappointed, but you've got a, you, we've got a game tomorrow, so we've got to move on and make sure we put, put it right tomorrow and, and uh, do everything we can to go and get a win. Could, could you see that coming at all at the 70 minute marker, the way the game was going, that what happened in those final minutes of the game? Uh, not really, not really, Jordan. Obviously, we were, I think, especially first half, we're in complete control of the game. Um, we maybe didn't create as many clear cut chances as what we should have with the amount of possession we had and the amount of times we got in good positions um, in and around the box. But yeah, um, they're obviously a team who, who play a certain style of football and they're, they're very big on set pieces. And um, yeah, like that was obviously our, our downfall and it, it's something we've obviously got to, got to work on on the training pitch and make sure that we're not a pushover. We don't want to be. We don't want to be a weak team and have other teams think that they can just come here and and basically just bully us on set pieces. So yeah, it's something we're, we'll be working on and um, start tomorrow. It's clearly been a disruptive few games with the injuries situation, with players coming in on on short term loans as well. How much of an impact has that had? Do you think in the dressing room on the last couple of results, or are you not making excuses for that kind of thing? Uh, no, not making any excuses because obviously, like I said. Notts County shouldn't be losing to Woken, uh, any any scoreline really, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, obviously it's it's probably difficult for the new lads to come in. Obviously they they don't know how we play them. Likewise, we don't know how they play, and it's a short short space of time to to get to know. But uh, yeah, no, we should still we should still be still be beating teams like Woken, be, beating teams like Altrincham. It's not not really like I said, it's not really acceptable, and uh, we've got to put it right tomorrow. In terms of your, your own form, you, we're now in the swing of things in the National League. How have you found things playing at this at this level of football and comparing it to the Football League side of things? What, what observations have you made? Uh, yeah, I think obviously the way in which we try and play is is uh, very, very different maybe to a lot of the National League teams. And I think it's even very different to a lot of the League Two teams. Um, we're, we obviously try and pass the ball around a lot and create chances by by moving the ball quickly and and um which is very different to a lot of teams that I've seen obviously in league 2 uh it's probably more like a league 1 sort of style um but like I said previously we can't just think we're going to turn up and and use our style and win uh teams obviously they've got their own certain style and whether it's long ball and they're hanging on for set pieces that's that's obviously their style so we we need to have sort of a mixture um and make sure that obviously we're not like i said getting getting bullied at set pieces by teams is that is that quite hard to adapt to each game knowing that you've kind of got the teams towards the top end of the table maybe more traditional it seems challenging for the football league places you know your Rexons and the, and the like and then you're playing teams towards the bottom of the table who are from a different footballing world is it quite hard to adapt to those different types of games every week uh, I wouldn't say for me personally. I wouldn't say so. I think I go into each game um, purely thinking about the way I'm going to help my team and um, not really thinking too much about the opposition. Obviously, you're aware of their strengths and their weaknesses, um, like you are when I was playing in the football league. It's just the same. But you don't sort of. I don't underestimate anyone. Every every player I'm playing against, in, I've got I've got to. Be better than be better than him. Um, so yeah, like, wouldn't say as a team we're really going into into games thinking, oh, we're only playing this team today, or as opposed to like you said, Wrexham or or teams like that. It's just, I think we just got to adapt better when a team is playing a certain style of football, and and we've got to be a bit more, bit strong, a bit bit sort of more know how of like sh- shutting a game out and. I think we need to score more goals. To be honest, I think, the, like I said previously, the positions we're getting in, we could score a lot more goals than we have been doing. And I think, I think especially on Saturday, if we go two 0 up, I think Woking are probably not going to get back into the game. So that's something that we need to improve on. And, and like I said, put right tomorrow. 
uh, Halifax tomorrow, clearly a very difficult side to be in, in excellent form. Is that kind of game a, a positive when you've just come out of a result like that to be able to pit yourself against the best sides in the division or is it something that's maybe slightly daunting given the form they're in? No, I wouldn't say it's daunting at all really, to be honest. Without um, They're obviously a good team, like you said, they're doing well in the league, but... We yeah we've lost we've lost two games on the bounce which is obviously not good enough but we 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 back ourselves to to go out there tomorrow and and put it right and uh, like I said like get a positive result um, well get the win basically so um, yeah that's obviously something that we're we're concentrating on doing. Finally, from me, the draw hasn't been made yet, but it's being made this afternoon for the the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Um, as a player, what does that competition mean to you? There's lots of talk every single year about the magic of the cup maybe being being uh, maybe being lost, but how do you see the competition as a player? Oh no, I think obviously as a especially as an English person, you you grow up watching the FA Cup. It's one of the best competitions in the world, and. Um, I, obviously, like you, you've probably got older people. Like my dad probably goes on about the FA Cup a lot more than sort of my generation. But uh, yeah, it's still special to play. And I think I, I played my first ever game, professional game, in the FA Cup. So uh, yeah, no, looking forward to it. And hopefully, we can we can get get through the the first few rounds and get to the bigger teams. It may be like a like a League Two, League One team where we can show what we're about and. Because I think we're very, we'd be very confident going going against a league like like I said a league two league one team and and see how good we are. Thank you, Matt. I wish you all the best tomorrow. Cheers. Recording okay. stopped. Matt, obviously you've been at the club now a month or two. Um, how does the national league fare compare to what it was like playing in League One this season? Has it come as a surprise? Has it surprised you in any way, or is it exactly what you expected? Uh, it's slightly surprising in terms of. There is a few teams who try and sort of pass the ball, which I'll, I obviously, I'll, obviously, I don't didn't know what to expect. I thought maybe it would be purely teams playing long ball and making sure they're hard not to, hard to beat sort of stuff. But there is a few teams who try and pass it, which was I think in the games we've played suits us because then they're a bit more open and we can obviously do our our style style of game. Um, yeah, I think obviously compared to League, probably compared to League Two, it's not. Some teams there's not really a major difference. Uh, I think there'd be quite a few teams who probably would get if they were to get promoted that they'd do all right. They'd definitely do all right in League Two next season. But um, yeah, I think League One maybe maybe is quite quite a difference. But um, I think going off our team, I think we we we'd be more than capable to to make a step up. Um, I just honestly, the Saturday's defeat was was a fairly heavy one. What, what was the discussions at training this morning? What did the manager have to say? Uh, I think we obviously we went and analysed the goals and basically the how easy their goals were, which is obviously very frustrating. Um, I think that was one thing, on my opinion, that Woking made it difficult for us to score. Even like we we had a lot of the ball and we were trying to create chances but they they put them put themselves in a position where they were I don't know getting a block in or making a last ditch tackle and our, for us to score it was quite difficult but I thought on, for them to score we made it too easy for them uh, obviously like I said set pieces we knew it was going to be a big thing because that's one thing they're very good at um, but again I thought it was, it's just two balls in the box and We've got to defend them, defend the first one better, defend the second one better. Uh, but yeah, we just got to learn from it and and put it right tomorrow. Yeah, because it it felt like in the end that they they pretty much bulldozed their way through. I mean, there wasn't it wasn't through silk or or quality, was it? No, obviously no, not really skill. I wouldn't say. Obviously, they put it in a put it in a certain area and they attack from there, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I think as a player, it's a bit deflating, obviously, when you concede such soft goals that they've not really worked for if you know what I mean if yeah, obviously yeah. if they put one in from 30 yards put it in the top corner and then you you hold your hands up and it's like it's a good goal but we've sort of just given them three goals and I think it was eight minutes or whatever it was and the game is pretty much done which obviously before that on the balance of play was not not what I think anyone expected to sort of happen so 
yeah, it's disappointing. We've got to learn from it quickly and not be, like I said, pushovers or anything like that. Um, and then, yeah, like take our game to Halifax tomorrow night. At 1-1, mate, when it went to 1-1, did you think the game management could have been better in those minutes after it? Almost, almost like took up on the ropes, if you like. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. I think um, I think we maybe lost our shape a little bit. Um, I think, obviously, we've, we've analysed it and... I think you could sort of see that there was we were our like forward players were obviously going far forward to try and get the second, which yeah. left us a bit more open. Uh, I think we sh we need to learn that to if they're good at set pieces, don't be giving them corners, <laughs> don't be, don't be giving it silly free kicks away, because um, obviously they didn't have a long throw, which I know some teams do, but if you're going to put it out, put it out for a throw in rather than a corner, stuff like that. I think think we were a bit, maybe a little bit naive, um, but like I said, if we, we've watched the video back, as long as we learn from it and, and put it right starting tomorrow, then you've got to just carry on and, and hopefully get three points tomorrow. A bit more streetwise, would you say? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah, obviously. I've played in teams where we're nowhere near as good on the ball, we're nowhere near as like creating, creating as many chances as we do. But they will grind out a one nil one nil win, and and mm. that's what, at the end of the day, that's what gets you. Promo that's what's going to get you promoted. But if you win one nil and it's sometimes it's ugly, then so be it, sort of thing. Like nobody cares, do they? Yeah, it's I think all, obviously ev everyone wants to play good football, and no more than me, obviously, because that's that's my game. But I'd much prefer to win one nil than lose four one to Woking. So. I think yeah, like we need we need to yeah, be in, be a bit more streetwise, be a bit sort of play the game a little bit better, um, and hopefully we can we can start doing that.